Hello and welcome to the tutorial how to create an animated card with shader sprite and CCG kit. In this tutorial, we will also use the artworks dwarf from Critical Hit. Let's create our shader. Before we start, this shader will use HDR technology, so make sure you have the post processing stack asset from Unity Technologies available on the asset store. The post-processing behavior need to be on the main camera. Also make sure to allow a HDR on the camera game object. And the profit post-processing need to have Bloom activated. Now the HDR should be ready. First, we need to set up the artwork into sprites. Use your favorite software to split the artwork. Now we can start creating our shader. We need to create a material into the project. Share the created material to use your own material. And create the shader sprite shader. Add the shader into the material like this. Let's create our first node, the build shader. Link the created shader to the build shader. Now, the shader will be automatically saved. And the material to your sprite renderer for a live preview. Great, the material and the shader are set up. We need to use the two artworks, the background and the dwarf. Right click. Go to Initialize and select New Texture. Right click on the New Texture node and select Duplicate. Drag and drop the background into the first New Texture node. And the Dwarf Sprite into the second New Texture node. Now we need to blend the two sprites into one with Blend. Right click, go to RGB, with two RGB and select Blend. Connect the RGB output from the background to the first input of the Blend node. Connect the Dwarf new texture to the second Blend input, like this. Now, connect the output from Blend to the Build shader. Now the two sprites is set up into the final result. Now we will add an awesome HDR effect on the sun. For that, we need to create a mask texture. Use your favorite software. And create a texture like this. The texture need to be like this. Take your time, it's really easy to create. Okay, now, create or duplicate the new texture node. Drag and drop the mask texture on the new texture node. Right click, RGB, with two RGB and select addition. Connect the background output to the first input of the addition node. Connect the mask to the second input of the addition node. Connect the addition output to the first input of the blend node, like this. Select the right HDR intensity. Now, we will add a heat distortion on the background and also on the sun. Right click. UV, Effects and select Distortion UV. Connect the Distortion UV to the Background UV. Select the right Distortion parameters. Now duplicate or create a new distortion UV. Connect the distortion UV to the mask texture UV. Select also the red parameters. We will use only the X value. Set all the Y values to zero. Now to finalize the shader, we will add a zoom fading to the UV of the dwarf. 
Connect the animated zoom UV to the dwarf UV. Select the right parameters, like this. Let's view the result in full screen. It's look nice. Thanks for watching.